Leah Dinas, and I'm here at Apocalypse Brewers, and we are a small brewery that's getting ready to open, hopefully before Derby. Uh, the beers that we think they will probably introduce into the marketplace, most of we'll just pull from our extensive 40-year background of home brewing and pull from some of our award-winning beers that we've made. Well, here we have 10 taps right now. We can always put more in, but um, 10 taps is a good starting point, so we have a good variety uh, where we can sell by the pint or by the growler or by the keg right out of the tasting room. Down the road, we might have some guest taps and reciprocate with our, our beers on tap elsewhere. But um, we're just to start off with, we'll, we'll put 10 of our beers on tap. Well, the brewery operation, we're uh, a steam-driven operation. Uh, we have a 500,000 BTU boiler in the other room. We can do uh, up to five barrels at a time. We preheat our water with uh, solar that's up on the, on the roof, and that's done for uh, economical reasons. It, it's able to bring us right up to strike water, bring us up to 170 degrees. These, uh, these vessels are just industrial uh, stainless steel vessels that we got a hold of uh, at a discount. Uh, the, the plates on them say from 1969, and as you can see they look new once they get cleaned up, but um, we got them at a, at a good price online and had them shipped in and hooked it up to our steam system, and these, these are going to serve us well. We're bolted fermenters right over here. And then we also have uh, a couple of fermenters on wheels that are in the cooler so we can bring them in and out uh, for temperature changes if we're going to do lagering. When we decided to build the bar, we needed a torch with the space, but we looked around at different materials and we thought, well, we have a whole stack of lumber that we pulled out of this place. So we went ahead and we built our bar from these reclaimed materials that we were already here at the plumbing shop. Uh, Lee is our chief brewer because we didn't want no infighting because we're all brewers. So we decided up front. Yep, we did. And then she decides which recipe to use and who's going to brew it. I'm probably the most diplomatic. That's why there's three of us, so we, uh, we can always break a tie. What is your position here, Paul? I guess I'm the... Uh, Head engineer. No. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll be brewing also. I think Leah Le will take the uh, the lead on the brewing, but I'll uh, I'll be brewing as well as we'll be able to back each other up. That way, we have flexibility for you know, vacations and schedules and everything. So I think we'll be laying it off back and forth. And uh, if she's brewing, I'll assist. If I brew, she'll assist. And that way, we can we can get the batches out. And, and, and you did all the plumbing here and the and the brewery. Yes. Yes, did all the piping and everything in here, so. Our tasting room, we'll call it the fallout shelter. Um, and we're going to be a brewing production facility that's going to be open maybe three days a week for people to come in, have a few pints, get a growler or two or three to go. Um, but, you know, so when the apocalypse does come, I think we're the place to come to. Come to the fallout shelter. Have a beer.